Hello you gorgeous lot and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Vicky. Welcome, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a next boys haul. So I have two boys, one that is six and another that is six months and we're due to go on holiday in a few days. Not sure if we're gonna be allowed to go yet, but I did buy a few things for the holiday. I did a Primark haul not long ago, so I already had quite a few bits. I also had some holiday stuff left over from my first son that I'll be using for my second son. And also my oldest son has quite a lot of stuff that he wore last summer, a lot of shorts that still fit him. So I haven't gone mad, but I've definitely just got a few bits. They're also not all holiday bits. Some are just essentials that we needed. So I put a little poll on my Instagram. I asked you if you would like to see what I bought from Next. So I just thought I would show you. I thought it might make an interesting video. So if you are a mum of boys, then continue to watch. So I actually got the boys some matching stuff. I'm gonna start with those because they are just too cute. First thing I got that was matching was these little sun safe suits. So I got the this one for my baby, I got it in nine to 12 months. He is six months, but he's a big boy and it's always better to size up in these things. That was 12 pounds for his size. And then for Oscar, I got six to seven years and that was 15 pounds and it's got the U, 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 what was it? It's got the UPF 50 plus protection on it, which I really love. My boys have very fair skin, so I can't wait to see them in those together. Also, because of the fair skin, it is quite difficult to buy my boys stuff that isn't gonna clash with their complexion. I know that sounds silly, but like really bright colors, just wash them out. And I know dark blue, you'd think that would wash them out, but blue really suits them because they've got blue eyes. So I would prefer a baby blue, that would just look gorgeous on them. So anything really light and neutral, pastel-y is fine, but th like neons just don't, don't suit them. So the second item I got that was matching, I absolutely love, and I didn't just get the boys some, I also got daddy. So I got these absolutely gorgeous little swimming shorts. How lovely are those? So these are a nine to 12 months and they were eight pounds for Spencer's size. Oscar got aged six years and they were eight pounds. So same price for the boys. And then I got a medium for my husband and they were 16 pounds. So really not that bad. And I cannot wait to get a photo. Of course, if we are allowed to fly there, I cannot wait to get a photo with all three of my boys wearing these shorts. I think they'll look amazing. Okay, now on to the baby stuff. I realized that he got most of the things because he actually needed a top up on his wardrobe. So I'm gonna start with the boring basics. I haven't bought in every single shop for the baby, but the baby grows that I have bought, the best I find for quality and washing are next. The other ones from other shops tend to go a little bit bobbly. The ones from Next don't. I am dressing my six month old in clothes that my six year old wore when he was a baby. So it just goes to show how long they last. So on that note, I got two new packs of baby grows in the size up in the nine to 12. He just needed them. He wears a baby grow every night and we will also be wearing baby grows on holiday in the evening because it will be a bit chillier. We're going to the Canary Islands and I've heard it can be chilly, so he'll just be wearing a baby grow in the evenings. I've got this pack of three. So you've got a white with a cloud print, a gray with a star print, and a white with a kind of dotted print. I've had this pack before. I loved them then, I still love them now, and they were 16 pounds. So they're not the cheapest, but honestly, the best quality that I have tried. Disclaimer, I haven't tried them all, but from what I've tried, I absolutely love Next. I just got a pack of three white baby grays and they've got a little giraffe motif there. I love Spencer in white. I love him in such neutral colors. I'm not really a bright color person. As I say, it does wash him out, but also I just think that he looks amazing in light colors. So that's why I got um, just the plain white ones as well. And for a pack of three of those, that was 10 pounds, so that's not too bad. That's only just over three pounds per baby grow, which really isn't bad. And I, all of them, I got them in the Global Organic Textile Standard, so it's called the GOTS Organic. And I noticed that all the basics I bought had that. You, there were other options, but these seem to be the best, so that's why I got those. 
it just suddenly got really grey outside so I turned my light ring on it's just started raining so hopefully that's a better light um, so again these next two items are quite boring so if you want to skip past them feel free but they are just basics I haven't even taken them out of the pack I basically got a pack of five long sleeved white vests and a pack of five short sleeved white vests. The long sleeve, so I got them both in nine to 12 months. I think they're, yeah, the short sleeve were nine pounds and the long sleeve were 10 pounds. So for five vests, that's really not bad at all. And honestly, they will last me the whole size. So until it goes up to the next size, they will last me because we're constantly washing them anyway and they wash so well, I feel like stains come out. I have definitely worked out how to get stains out of white like really quickly and efficiently, which I will share with you in another video, but they stay white and they last me. So I'd rather spend that bit extra money and only have five of each and just keep washing them than have like hundreds of cheaper ones that don't wash very well, that shrink. Yeah, so that's why I got those. So I'll show you a really nice piece, a piece that I'm so excited for Spencer to wear. I've never really been a fan of rompers, but I saw this and I thought, oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous, look at it. And it's got a black dinosaur print and it's obviously neutral, so it's like a creamy brown or a brownie cream. And it's nine to 12 months, that was eight pounds. And I just thought that was gorgeous. I thought if it's warm in one of the evenings, he could wear that. Or he can wear that obviously now in the UK with a long sleeve, either black vest or white vest. Both would look nice underneath that. Thought that was really comfy and really cute. I love that. I got two packs of socks just because he needed them. I actually haven't used neck socks before. Socks are like a massive annoyance to me because he pulls them off. Well, he doesn't pull them off. They just come off. And I've only got like, I think the ones I've got came from Asda and maybe Primark and... I just don't find that they stay on, so I'm hoping getting nicer, more expensive ones might help. I don't know. They were both five, well, they were five pound fifty, the neutral colours, and these were five pounds. And these are just whites, blacks, greys, and these are obviously lovely neutral colours. So two packs of five, I think, four. Sorry, so that's eight pairs for just over ten pounds. I then got this gorgeous Benetton hoodie. As you probably know, I love dressing Spencer in just baby grows and a cardigan or a hoodie. He ha actually hasn't got a hoodie that fits him at the moment. So when I saw this Benetton hoodie, I thought it was so cute. It's got a little rabbit on there. It's obviously got little ears on it. And that is nine to 12 months. And I paid 16 pounds for that. So. A little bit more pricey, but obviously it's a good brand, probably really good quality, I'll let you know. And I just thought it was super cute and that will go with so many outfits. You only need really one or two hoodies in your wardrobe as a baby, surely, because you don't really wear them that often. And as we're coming into spring, it probably won't get worn that much. But I again thought on the plane, it would be nice for him to wear that. I bought Oscar a grey um, tracksuit so he's got a hoodie and tracksuit bottoms to wear on the plane so I did have that in mind when I was thinking about them looking matching I thought that'd be really sweet so I love that purchase one thing I didn't have left over from my first son was a hat so I got two hats for Spencer the first one I got was this lovely cute little cap in a grey with a dinosaur print I got that in 12 to 18 months and I'm glad I did because it really doesn't look that big Spencer has large body parts in general but his head is quite big so i got the larger size and i'm glad i did because i wanted it to last through summer so as i say that was 12 to 18 months that was six pounds and then i got this little um striped hat i'm not really a fan of these hats in the terms of the way they look but obviously because he's fair i want to protect the back of his neck from the sun and they had this this was the plainest one i could find and it, in six to 12 months, that was £6.50. Again, I'm glad I got the bigger size. It's got a little strap there to keep it on. So I don't know what he's gonna be like. I know that Oscar was terrible at pulling his hats off. He never wanted to keep them on, but Spencer's a little bit more chilled than him. So I'm hopeful that he'll keep it on. This is also for holiday. So I thought when we go down for breakfast in the morning, he's gonna wanna wear something other than swimwear some days. So I got the plainest rompers I could find. They had some absolutely gorgeous, like, black and white ones in there. And they were, what would you call it? Like, mono block? No, mono... You know what I mean? Like, that kind of black and white 
patterns which was absolutely gorgeous but again I just think that I just don't know whether they would suit Spencer even though I loved them so I got oh these are so cute um, I got this print, which has got like little animals on it, elephants, giraffes, zebras, pandas, turtles, li little ducks. And then the next one also has animals on it, but just on a smaller scale. And then the next one also has animals on it, but just in a couple of different areas in a little rainbow. So I thought those were really cute. They are in the organic cotton again. That was a three pack. And that was six to nine months actually I got those in. Not sure why I got six to nine in those and everything else in nine to 12, but I did. And that was 16 pounds for those. And the final item for Spencer is this pack of two joggers. So I've got like a sand nude color on the front. They're like a drop crotch jogger and then a navy blue pair. I actually wanted a stone colour, so a bit of a lighter colour, but obviously it's in fashion at the moment because there was none in stock in his size. But I got these in 9 to 12 months again and they were £10. Probably will take those on holiday as well just to have an extra warm kind of pair of trousers. Okay, so moving on to Oscar's clothes, I feel like his are really boring. When you have a child that is six, you kind of have loads of stuff for them anyway. I bought a few t-shirts and a couple of pairs of shorts in my recent Primark haul for him. He also has so many shorts, as I said in my intro, that fit him still. He's obviously got t-shirts that fit him. He's not growing as quickly as the baby. So I kind of just got him basics. But this might be of interest to some of you. And I will start off with an interesting item. So I got Oscar this New York Yankees cap. He has this cap in grey, which I love, but where it is so light and he is a boy, it gets really grubby really quickly, like particularly on the peak. And he just looks a bit like scabby after a couple of days. And obviously when you're on holiday, you can't really wash anything. So I got it in black just because I think it will stay cleaner for longer. And I got that in a size up. So I got that in six to 12 years. The one he had before would have been like up to six years. And that was 15 pounds. Really basic, but got him a pack of trainer socks because he'll be wearing like trainers or loafers in the evening. So that, that is just a pack of seven socks. And they were six pounds. Six pounds for seven pairs isn't bad, is it? I just got him this pack of three jogger material shorts. He's had these before. They wash really well. They last really well. Gray, blue, and black. Easy to wear. 16 pounds for three pairs. Again, not the cheapest, but because they wash so well, I did get those. And I don't really know why I've bought more shorts because I said to myself when I sorted his drawers out not long ago, do not buy him any shorts. He has loads of shorts. They all fit him. He doesn't need any more shorts but I've bought some more shorts. But maybe I won't take them away with me. Maybe I will put them for his next size up because he's gonna need them anyway. So I feel like these next two items are really boring, but they are really classic. So I got a pack of two white t-shirts and they were £6.50 for a pack of two in age seven. And those with denim shorts and a pair of loafers will just look like the perfect evening outfit. Nothing too fussy and fancy, but just really simple and will look really nice. Then I've got a pack of two black t-shirts and that was £6.50 in age seven again. So with the cream t-shirt, the two black, the two white, and the two I bought from Primark, plus a few of the ones he owns already. We've got more than enough t-shirts. I would imagine he's gonna wear a nice evening outfit, but also just wear a t-shirt in the day. The one in the day probably gonna get really dirty from like ice lollies and stuff, if we get good weather. But anyway, that was my slightly boring um, next haul, but you guys wanted to see it, so I hope you all enjoyed that haul. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe, and I will see you all soon.